this lineup more. Okay, Ryan? I'm going to have to agree with Winter. Um, it depends on uh, like how far you're dealing with the Brutes, it's all in the Sand King. And also the CK, there isn't that much to deal with the CK if he gets very farmed. Chaos Knight is actually one of these like cheese heroes, which is the just... Oh? Reality Rift here into the slow and Sameo. Uh, he's going to have to level the Burrow Strike, get himself up to the high ground. Munch is on a Mango, but Sameo in a bit of trouble. One more slap there from the man on the horse and Loader getting himself the first blood. And one of the best of stars there for Sameo. PPD. And this is, this is going to give, of course, a bit of space on the bottom lane. So Enigma will find the farm and they might find a kill. Like they kick back Bulldog under the tower. He gets caught out there. I don't know, and they'll get it. That's, That's going to be a kill for EG. Into the Lone Road, it's actually a bit easier. We, we saw that, I think, Liquid did that yesterday with a DP and like Tusk ganking in. End of the Lone Road, and then suddenly the Lone Road's not safe, but... On the top lane, Loader moving in, the sentry's been dropped, they get the ball out onto Samael, looking for the right flicks, he'll go for the Burrow Strike, onto the IO, trying to get a kill and return, but EGM's gonna be fine, walks it off, PPD trying to chase this one, with the Spirits fly through, EGM will still get caught at the same time, mid lane trying to go in there, top lane, Ake and Loader did end up finishing off PPD as well, so they lose the IO, they get two kills in return, mid lane, Men still there, hanging around Vartizi, seeing this. Going to be the attempt to fight. Ah, PPD tried to go for D Wall, but Lions say no. Ake and EGM just moving in. They've got the glimpse as well, bringing him back. Here comes Loda, looking for another kill, and he's going to get a killing spree now for your Chaos Knight before the four minute mark. And this lane at the top is just going for something a little bit more. And uh, still that mid lane where Arteezy, he is farming just as well as S4. They'll get a root. Well, Fear's there as well. Rolls straight to S4. He's going to have the, the combo here. But S4, in fact, with a Spirit Cyclone, keeping himself alive, turns around with a Crypt Swarm and says, No, that's not going to work out. Welcome to the patch, buddy. And Earth Spirit's out. He's a, a good hero. I mean, Earth Spirit's a good hero too, but. That is. <laughs> They, I mean, that was even worth the roots. Oh, bottom lane some mail. Here comes EGM. The dust was ready. They'll get the Sanking kill. Six to two for Alliance on the board. And at the tower is under attack. You might see, yeah. Uh, and do that happen? They jump in with the Burrow Strike. Fear rolling forward. They've got the dust. This could be a big killer. They get in with Universe there as well. They should. And they'll take him down. Donga is out. And some mail will claim the gold for that. Yeah. Uh, it becomes that much more difficult for EG to try and shut down any of these cores. They're eyeing up some mail at the moment, bottom, and here we go. This is the relocate that we're talking about. They get the thunder strike, the glimpse bringing him back, as well as the reality rift just ripping some mail to pieces. Lions get themselves the kill here on the bottom lane. Ah, uh, CGM just wandering around with the Simvis rune, scouting them out. Pings on to universe. Do have S4 around as well, but oh, EGM, he's walked under the sentry. He's been rumbled, and yeah, some mail's there to capitalise on it. More money into the pocket of the Sand King. They've turned over a Bulldog, continue to apply the pressure onto the bottom lane. There'll be a TP down here from Samael. But this sentry just on the tip, sir. So. It's the one safe kill that EG can make right now if they catch the Wisp, because then they don't have the relocate something around to them. Oh, and here is your ult from Loader onto Universe. There will be the stun, and now the next pop Universe trying to walk this one off. Loader, a little bit of our mana. He's got enough for one more reality risk. S4 chasing down with the Exorcism and the Spirit Siphon onto Fear. The Phonic Shield from PPD is going to be there. And RTZ oh, found Loader on the retreat. This could be a huge kill for the man, and it is. He'll take him down. RTZ on the Lone Druid getting a hefty chunk of gold there from that risky walk on his own through the die jungle back towards this side of the map there that loader and, and rtz is there to punish it yeah i think alliance sensing their ahead and getting impatient oh Arto trapped in the party ring exorcism still up ppd trying to do his best to keep him alive isn't gonna happen and I, I think the greaves are a possibility yeah. um there's a, quite a bit of silence coming out of the line side the dp the disruptor Although, I guess you can't really grieve with the disrupt the ulti. No, no. Ooh, this could be a pick. S4 trapped in the static storm. Looking himself up with the stuns there from Fear. PPD moving around. Hunting the right picks through, but looks like he's going to be fine. Lotus joining in the fight with the IO. So S4 with the Spirit Summon, keeping himself alive. And now it's EG that got against the cells out. Universe getting brought back in by the Rift. He's got the Aphotic Shield up. It's going to be S4 the first casualty. This Universe will pop. So two for one at the moment. Now we're seeing if EG can try and find something more to even this trade off. They get the silence onto Loader. They're looking for a route. They will get onto the CK. Bulldog trying to fight up with the ultimate onto the earth spirit isn't going to get it loader rifts in ppd trying to go in now he pops the ult he's got the ult trying to look for the control on eg they throw back the sun onto bulldog loader's going to get rooted he rifts in rtz he's still desperately trying to fight he's got egm backing him off looking for the chase down though but the chaos ball onto rtz he brings him back in again but rtz just a little bit too tanky and ppd there with the aphotic shield just keeping his teammates alive and eg will get everyone else out and he just sends up a two for one there come on only for the time, here we go, with the epicenter, jumps in for the forest, oh, some males too short! 
And now Ake, there with S4, forcing them back. Here comes Loader and EGM looking to pick them up on the retreat. PPD trying for the TP out and he will make it. No! They get the cancel here. They bring him back with the glimpse. They've taken down the Sand King. They'll look to find PPD as well and he'll almost certainly go down as a second pick off for Alliance. And as you said, Freezy, that was always going to be risky finding into Alliance with their ults up. And just the fact that that initial jump from Samael didn't What's down all this time? I mean, yeah, the, the ultimate with the illusions once he's got hot. At this point of the game, it's uh, good luck trying to do the, you know, deal with them. First, it's getting gone on here. The size of the two. Loader coming in here with the help of EGM. And Universe is going to be the first to get taken down. PPD looking for the TP out of the side. He will make it out here. Uh, it's just Universe for him, but he's down for 40 seconds. Come in here. PPD's hanging about, but he's just going to have to watch it. Watch it fall here from the safety. Temporary. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Okay. Could potentially uh, he's got a good set He will use it here. PPD dancing around outside his base. So that's him straight in. There's your epicenter. On to S4 and Bulldog. Fear rolling in as well. Universe looking for the potential to find a black hole and he'll drop it. Catches S4 and Bulldog, but he will get cancelled straight away. The static storm getting laid down. PPD moving off to the sideline. Just getting that body shield off. He'll keep Dyer's himself alive for time but already they've lost some out. They've lost Universe. PPD getting glimpsed back. A third this kill for Alliance. Like, this could actually be the game. DP has even still got ages, right? Oh, Death Rock is still with Aegis. Load up. And there's Tanky Zeus, they've I got guess. the end, they've got the mech. Yeah, they, they maybe don't have damage, that the Alliance need to go back. Dyer's middle uh, tower. Uh, no, they, they're attack. hanging around, I mean, just stick there. that heart regen. Wisp just takes... Oh, he yeah, takes Ake, but that's cute. Yeah. Heal up, we're gonna push. Okay. When EG respawn, they don't have nine mounts, one last defense, but if they couldn't do it with the LTs, are they gonna do it without them? In comes the bear. Uh, the Radiance Miss Charles doing a bit for him. Get the stun from the uh, spread out for two of them. And now the team is back. Some male with the first strike onto Bulldog. He's trapped under the tower. Just has come out. Can he get himself away? The bear chasing down with the Radiance Bulldog will go down. So EG finding one on the defense. Artsy ring here from AK holding them back. Stun catches the disruptor there. Nice kick from Fear. Follow up Burrow Strike. The silence for as well. AK gonna be the second kill here. So each yeah. do manage to defend and they do take two to her, two heroes down. Tier 3 taking a significant amount of damage, but it is still on the board. Do not wait for Rush, precisely because attack. Rush is actually a good position for EG to fight. They're still not quite committing the LTs either. Yeah, it in onto the Rax Exorcism coming out loader straight away with the ultimate. This should be potentially the mid Rax. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to target. They've got the Savage Raw to send the illusions packing. Actually, with that, he's going to try and keep them alive. So pulls them away. So the Rax will be alive for the time being. EG wanting to wait until that Exorcism has finished. PPD moving and he's going to soak up the damage. Heal himself back up with a borrowed time. Easy, sending the bear. He's gonna hit the root, he gets the first hit root. Borrow strikes a follow for as well. Static storm has been laid down and EGM is there keeping S4 alive. We'll take him out. EGM there with the save, bringing S4 back to base. Al Poldon's just sitting there. He says, all right, I'll pick up the melee racks. And now he's trying to fight. He turns towards Vin, trying to go for it. Body shields out, Vin rolls back in, Bulldog gets slowed. He tried to go for the play, he doesn't get it. Now some mail, straight up. BM epicenter on his EGM. EGM walks it off though, tethers across to Ake. Ake with the TP out, EGM is going to get caught. So they do lose the IO and the spider. That's, I mean, oh, it looks like Loda is actually going. Um, you could definitely see the logic of the hard pickup, but... EGM coming out on his own here. So Mail and Fear jump straight in onto the IO. EGM's down. Getting a little bit too greedy and coming in. Our Bulldog's going to start working on, on the top tower, I think. It's going to take a while, but they're not losing anything, Alliance, right now. Yeah. I mean, this is the yeah, EG, what's the plan here? They're going to start making running on the bottom. They've already managed to get the kill off the IO. Universe with a three-man black hole. Huge flash hole from the man. EGM trying to come in with a save. s going to go down now. Bulldog as well to fall. There'll be a buyback from EGM. He came in here to look for a save, but this could be a dieback. Borrow strike from Samantha. And suddenly, EG turning up, and it's Universe with the black hole that does it. He knew that he was waiting for that opportune moment, and he comes in with a big one. And now with Loader looking to be in dire straits as well. This is going to be a team wipe for EG. They hold the base, they bring him down, his Aegis is gone. They'll group up, EG ready for the party. Loader getting absolutely destroyed by the lineup. And suddenly, EG, BAM! I think Alliance became complacent, almost like us. You know, we were watching this universe. He is, he's a bit of a cool cat, you can imagine. He was just chill, waiting for the time. Walks Radiant's in, easy three-man black hole.
He's, he's soaking it all in. Great stuff from the universe there. Now, by Rune, managed to catch out Arteezy, bringing him back into the pool. BKB from board up, the Static Storm is good. Laying down onto Priest, so now get the Rose Dragon for Loda. But now Loda bringing in Artor. Artor's gonna go down, and now this is Alliance fighting back hard. Universe pops to BKB, trying to run, gets healed up by the Mist Coil. Loda continues to try and chase down this man on the Enigma. Will he have to do it? Chasing through the trees. Universe looking for the Jukes. Is he gonna make it? No, he won't. Crit to the back. Loda gets himself a double kill. PPD being hunted down by the Bulldog underneath the tower. He's got borrowed time, but there's backup coming in for the side of Alliance. More people throwing the body. He's at PPD. PPD's going to get bodied. This time it's EG losing four heroes. And again, this looks like this could be a game that we just see going back and forth. You're literally like EG making the moves every time there's a down, and then the Lions making moves when they're up. Oh, they're going for the tier four. EG said, we're done. We want to we wanna finish this. And Alliance, they haven't got the ultimates. And again, is this one? Oh, no. Can they go for a base race? They're going for Rax. Alliance, they need to go for something bigger because at the same time, EG are trying for it here. They do lose fear, but the tier force are down. They just go for it. RTZ working away. Universe, oh, with a black hole. On to Loader EGM. There's going to be more to try and fight against Arthur. Pushing back the Lone Druid. Does get the kill here. Now turns to PPD. It's going to be Universe. Both the CK and the Iowa down. Five out for the CK. PPD just but he's trying to hit the agent. He's got the borrowed time, but they will take him down. Loaded with a buyback, helping dispatch him. There's been a buyback from Fear. So Mel gets himself out. And so does Universe with the TP away. Oh man, this absolute cutthroat game. And it's just been used. They do so have the CK ult here. Actually, yeah, with that, with that and the AC on Bulldog, they could try the tier 4s themselves. Look at this army coming in from Loader. Throw into the throw. Straight onto the tier 4. S4 kind of getting caught out here on the side, though. He's popping the BKB. He's got to try and walk up. He's got the Spirit Cyclone with the Ult Train heating up. Loader rips him there. Rips him to pieces. Earth Spirit's down. The second tier 4 is gone. And Alliance, they've got the Ancient exposed. And they're starting to work this. The Mayo now. He's going to get shredded to slices. He'll buy back straight away. Can they hold this? I don't know if they can. The Mayo. They try to go in the board on top of the BKB. Hits the Ancient. And Alliance. Alliance hate the game! Wow. Throwing Damn. to Loader too. That's, I mean, like 30 seconds ago, we were watching Alliance's throne busy dying. And for me, that's incredible. That's like excitement. And it's it's such uh, a good yeah. game going forward into like the, the playoffs.